what are you modeling for? And like everybody says it's a dream, right? Usually mm -hmm. our dreams take a long time. Mm -hmm. but, but people will get into modeling thinking it's supposed to happen within their first year. And I'm like, if, if you believe that, then it, it, it's okay. not a dream. You got to be patient with it. All dreams involve being patient. Tell somebody, if you want to model, you cannot be one foot in, one foot out, right? Yeah. yeah. I understand that a lot of times um, you get into modeling and you don't know what to do. You're just going with the flow. Mm hmm but eventually you got to start to create a plan. Like you just can't just yep. be doing shoots and just, you know, just doing shoots, just to be doing them and then putting them out and then hoping that something happens. Right. I do frequent one-on-ones with models around the world where we discuss our experiences, advice, tips, stories, and et cetera. And I also do audio clips where I provide models with information and motivation. If you like this type of content, consider subscribing. You know, you'll hear people say you're not a model if you're not signed. And then that's the one that that's the one I hate the most. You're not a real model if you're not signed. Majority yeah. of models will never be signed. Because majority of models don't fit that, they don't fit those um criteria of being five, eight, five, nine, and up and being slim and and, and slender. A lot of people don't fit that. And a lot of people don't want to, like right. So people don't even want to be signed. I got a, I got a, um, uh, I got a series on my YouTube. It's called my, it's called my thoughts, where I answer uh -huh. these questions, not with necessarily fact, with just, but just how I feel towards it. If you're getting into modeling because you like to take photos, uh huh, it's the wrong reason to get into it. But I do think a lot of, a lot of people when they get into modeling they like it for the aspect of photos and then eventually they come across that 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 one person that tells them no or they tell them you're not good enough or they tell them you need to do this and you need to do that and they take it offensive yeah you know um because my thing is it's gonna suck to be doing modeling for three four or five years and you still lost because you never actually right. sat down and figured out what you're, what you're trying to do. You're just doing shoes just to be doing them. And I say that so much that I think it offends people when I say, what are you modeling for? And like everybody says it's a dream, right? Usually mm -hmm. our dreams take a long time. Mm -hmm. but, but people will get into modeling thinking it's supposed to happen within their first year. And I'm like, if, if you believe that, then it, 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 okay. it's not a dream. You got to be patient with it. All dreams involve being patient. Right, exactly. So it, it's one of those things where um, it's like, are you modeling because you like to take photos? Or are you modeling because it's, it's literally something in you that you want to do? And mm -hmm. you, go, you go try to put all your resources towards achieving it. You don't have to be signed. I don't, I don't, I don't like models believing they're not a real model if they're not signed. Right. You can be a real, you can be a commercial model. Majority of models are commercial models anyways. You don't have mm -hmm. to be signed to be a real model. I mean, it's interesting just to hear everybody's this thing as well. Everybody's ideas of it. It's yeah. So I, I, as, as long as you model and you don't feel like if you're not signed, you're not a real model, I'm perfectly fine. But if you're trying to get signed, if, if if you're five feet and you're trying to get signed, it's going to be hard. Right? Well, yeah. So it's, going to be hard. it's like, it's like, if you don't get signed, it's okay. Mm -hmm. you can, you're, a lot of girls who get signed, they don't get no work anyways. They just be sitting. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if they're not doing they, their part either. But my whole thing is, I I honestly didn't think I wanted to be signed to an agency until I began to like know myself more. But yeah, at first I didn't want to be signed to a modeling agency until I began to see like, what am I most marketable to? Like my face, I'm yeah. not like a, 
editorial kind of model. I'm more of a, let me sell products for you. I have a nice smile. Like I can do some editorial looks, some different things, but I think every model has to see what they. You have to know what kind of model you are. You yeah, have to have some kind of idea of what kind of model you are and what market you fit in. Yeah. Um, and that's what I've been trying to understand. And now I know, like, so now I'm like, okay, I need to reach out to an agency if this is something that I'm going to take seriously. And even if I don't, there's still, like, a lot of opportunities 